everybody. <laughs> everybody. Um, this is Ashley Wolf's um, video blog. I was uh, bored at home last night watching TV, and there was nothing on. So I um, watched this um, cartoon version of this um, fable called Chicken Little. I'm sure you know it. It's um, it's like uh, this chicken that that runs around screaming, "The sky is falling! The sky is falling!" And uh, you know, and all of her friends are like, "Look, relax, chill out. It's everything's fine." And I, I mean, I sat there thinking that, that that's kind of how I am. That I always feel like danger is imminent. And particularly in this town, mostly because it usually is. And it's kind of weird, actually, that that this silly cartoon would be more enlightening than than all of the <laughs> all of the self help books I'd read, or even this blog, which is. I guess it's helping. It is. I mean, me. I think I'm the only one that's watching. So anyway, um, back to the whole sky is falling thing. You know, what would happen if the sky actually fell. I mean, what if something went really wrong, like you were dumped by your boyfriend, or you lose your dog, or you lose a person? I think we all think we know how we'll deal with it, but, but then we, we don't. I used to use food. <laughs> and, and it worked for me, I thought, at the time, but it, it didn't, in retrospect. It just made things worse. Loss, it's, it's weird. I'm not talking about weight loss. I I'm, I mean more um, about people, my life. I feel like I'm losing my friend, Daisy. And I feel like I've lost Coop forever. And I know that that was my decision. But he was my first. And he's my best friend. And I really miss him. And I miss his family. And I don't know what to do. I guess that dealing with these losses, it shows us who we really are. Some people hold on to hope, even when it seems crazy. Or you can stuff everything down and pretend whatever big bad thing is happening isn't happening. I've done that. It catches up with you, though. Messes you up. Sometimes all it takes is finding someone, anyone, who understands exactly what you're going through. But who knows exactly what anyone's going through? What do you do when you lose something? Are you supposed to curl up in a ball? or? Put on a smile, fight through the pain? I have no clue. Woohoo, Ashley, great blog. Wow, awesome. So helpful. This, <laughs> as if anyone is, is watching anyone. Anyway. You just want to talk about Ava with someone who understands? Yeah. What makes you think I understand any better than you? I don't. I just... We're the only two people who can call her our daughter. That's something, at least. Look, she's gonna be fine. Jeffrey, you say that like she lost a sock. She lost her child. Our grandchild. And on top of the postpartum, how is she ever gonna get over not being there at the end? She's not. But she's gonna get through it, and we're gonna help her. I know what we've lost, Olivia, okay? <laughs> we can't do anything about it. Tammy Winslow lost her life. That I can do something about. Jeffrey, you can't bring her back. No, but I can bring her and her mother some long overdue justice. And I'm up to my ears in paperwork, so. What? Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, I, I can't be what you need. Again, I'm sorry, I can't comfort you. I, I can't sit around here looking at family photographs, okay? I just can't. If you don't deal with this, you know you're gonna have a break. I am dealing with it, okay? I'm dealing with it. Maybe not the way that you are, but I am dealing with it. Is there anything else? Yeah, how's the how's the wedding planning going? Hmm? It's going, okay? It's a little uh, slow right now because, you know, I'm a little preoccupied by the trial, so. 
Right. Okay, well, you just keep ignoring what's happening and, and put your real life on hold, and then eventually you end up with a string of failed marriages and a bad heart, and then we'll have even more in common not to talk All about. Right, you know what? You're right. You're right about the weddings. I'm going to call Reba. Okay. Well, I'll go then. So you call her. Take care of yourself. Thanks. Maybe this is just a mistake. Maybe I miss Rafe and Gus so much that I just want it to be true. I miss Harley every day. I miss Jenna. We miss the people that are important to us. Okay, so you miss your wife. What if someone told you that they could talk to her from beyond? Would you believe them? I think... What if that person was Alan? I'd want to know what... Jenna thinks and what she wants. Even if it's from a politician. Crazy. Or at least not. What if I'm just willing myself to believe in this just because of grief and guilt? What if you have more faith than the rest of us? What if, what if? 